come back, been a little bit. Uh, got out of annual, had a couple of post post maintenance flights to uh, just make sure everything's good. We uh, pretty quiet this year. I'll take it, but uh, it's good to keep those flights pretty simple, close to home. So things are sure everything's good to go. Otherwise, thought I'd get up today. Kind of a cloudy, gray day, uh, but uh, December 22nd. It's actually uh, 75 years since the first flight of the. Uh, Bonanza, the experimental version, when they first started building it back in 1945. Took flight, so a good day to kind of get up. Uh, take the plane for a short hop. Um, and just get out while it's warm. Got a cold snap on the way. So just kind of a fun little day in Bonanza history. Otherwise, kind of an interesting day to think about 2020 a little bit. Um, one of those weird years, I guess. Lakeland traffic, Archery 44, Alpha Bravo, left downwind, runway 18, Lakeland. But, uh, uh, thinking back to my resolutions back in January, um, kind of had a goal to knock out my commercial, uh, so that was good. Uh, despite all the COVID kind of odd stuff with CFIs and DPEs, was able to knock that out. So that was a good one to get in the books. Uh, kind of had a few lulls here and there, uh, but to get my commercial done, so that was that was nice. Uh, my other goal was just to kind of try and make a few more videos. I think I did fairly well this year, still kind of getting my feet under me there, but. Uh, Made a little progress. I uh, got a little bit more ironed out in the setup. Kind of had some interesting. Didn't have a lot of trips this year, obviously. Um, but uh, so it kind of kept things close to home. But that was a good side effect of the commercial motors. Um, but uh, it was good to see you up to, I think, 88 subscribers today. So it didn't quite hit 100, but uh, we're getting there. It's fun to do it. It's great to do it. Give me a five, take a three, and about. Uh, uh, about six miles straight in, we're way two eight. It's Actually, so we're going to circle and do uh, two zero for uh, five Taylor straight Thursday. It's still just a good debrief tool. So even if uh, even if I wasn't doing it, I'd still run the cameras. You learn a lot by looking at your flights afterwards, especially the the ones in IMC. Um, but uh, past that, didn't quite hit a hundred hours this year either. Last year, I think I had a hundred, hundred five, something like that. Um, but I had a few longer yeah, trips. Sure. 844 four Alpha Bravo, left base, uh, runway 18 Lakeland. Um, so we'll probably get another couple flights in this year, but I think last I looked I was at like 89 hours. Uh, so 88 subs in 89 hours. Uh, chipping away, uh, good to get up, especially with everything going on. That wasn't wasn't a bad year, I'll take it. The plane's been flying good, uh, annual was pretty quiet. Um, and speaking of that, it was kind of nice, got the knocking out the commercial, was able to get the dual yoke out. Um, we're down to just a single throw over. Kind of nice, gives you a little more room. Uh, trying it today with the the oak and the upper pin. I'm curious on the other. Yeah, uh, it's true. They try TBM5, Tango 3 is on the left base. It's about a three mile left base, one way two zero. It's true today. Curious on any of the other Bonanza pilots, how they fly, if they use the lower setting or the upper setting with their their dual yokes that have the pins. Uh, but otherwise, it'll be nice. Opens up a lot of room, kind of on the passenger side. Uh, makes, it, makes for a lot more comfort, just easier ingress, uh, getting in and out of the door. But uh, otherwise, we'll see what next year brings. Lakeland traffic, Archery, 44 Alpha Bravo, final on runway 20. We'll see what next year brings. Um, I guess I'll knock out my tailwheel. I still have to get that done. Uh, might chip away at the multi just for fun, um, but that's a little bit harder to find. Find a place that'll do the multi training these days. But uh, a couple goals for next year to, to keep going on those ratings. Uh, not sure if I'll do a CFI or not. Uh, maybe in a little bit. We'll see. It's always fun to learn something new. Otherwise, going to keep chipping away at the, the videos and the content. Um, see if we can get somewhere in 2021. Maybe fly south here after the holidays and try someplace new. Uh, we'll see if the uh, ACCAs kick off next year. Miss those. This year had a maintenance failure. Uh, intern coordinator went out, but hopefully we'll make it down to the round two in Illinois. So that'll be fun. We'll see what Oshkosh does. That's usually a drive over trip for me. I volunteer with the birds, but uh, we'll, we'll see if that kicks off or not. Past that, uh, kind of fun to take a look at the uh, the flight logs. Um, I've got a little scrubber that I pull from all the flight at Garmin. Track logs, so it's kind of fun to amalgamate them all. I'll try and slap those up here. Um, I'll take a look later too if I can make it reusable for people. Um, it's kind of a fun little tool to look back if you happen to use the uh, use their logbooks. Um, but otherwise, I hope everybody had a relatively safe and quiet 2020. We'll see what next year brings. See where we go. Uh, thanks for watching.
Thanks for riding along and catch you on the next one.